It is officially our last week of school. I cannot believe it. It's, it's very different than how we would normally have our last week of school. Normally we would all be there together. We would be celebrating right to read week. We would be celebrating field day at school together. And I'm really sad that we can't all be there together because the end of the year is always a really fun time. But I think that, you know what, we're all going to look back on this year um, and we will, it's going to be a year that we always remember for the rest of our lives. And even though it was a, li a lot different than how we thought it was going to end, it'll be very memorable. And I will always remember every single one of you forever and just how how different our school year was together and hopefully by the time you guys get to first grade um, in the fall everything will be mostly back to normal for school because i'm so excited for you guys to start first grade there is so much there's so many exciting things waiting for you in first grade and I just can't wait for you guys to get to experience it because I know you're all gonna love it. And that's kind of what our book today is about. It is about going to first grade. And the title is On Our Way to First Grade. And it's written by Kate Howard and it's illustrated, so the pictures, are by Mike Byrne. So I'm just gonna read what it says on the back of this book. So the book is about a little boy named Ben and it says, Ben loves kindergarten, but he is worried about first grade. Will it be as fun as kindergarten? So I know a lot of you are very excited for first grade but you're also, you might be a little bit nervous or you might be a little bit sad because you, we've had so much fun in kindergarten and you just don't want to leave kindergarten. You just want to stay in kindergarten forever, right? <laughs> but I promise you that it just keeps getting better and better every year. Every year gets more and more fun because you'll get to do different things and you, you get to learn new things every year. So this book is kind of about going into first grade and getting, hopefully it'll get you guys very excited for that because I'm very excited for you. All right, on our way to first grade. I'm gonna wipe this off, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Ben is in kindergarten. There's Ben. He will be in first grade soon. Ben is sad. He will miss his kindergarten friends. So it says, welcome to the last day of kindergarten. So normally we'd be at school celebrating all together, but we're, it's a little bit different for us this year. But Ben is thinking about all his friends in kindergarten, how much he's going to miss them. Look how sad he is. Poor guy. Today is the last day of kindergarten, says Miss Green. No, Ben says. What is wrong, Ben? asks Miss Green. I do not want to go to first grade, Ben says. I will miss you. I will miss you too, Ben, Miss Green smiles. But you will love first grade. Ben is not sure. What if first grade is hard? Ben helps Emma put away books. 
Will we read books in first grade? asks Ben. You will read lots of books in first grade, says Miss Green. Fun new books about sharks and pirates. Ben and Jack clean the art table. Will we do art in first grade? asks Ben. Yes, you will do art in first grade, says Miss Green. Fun new art projects with clay and paint. Will we eat lunch in first grade? asks Ben. Yes, you will eat lunch in first grade, says Miss Green. New foods and yummy old foods too. So you might get to try new foods that you've never tried before. And you also get to eat, eat foods that you have tried before, foods that you know and foods that you like. You get to eat in the cafeteria and eat lunch with all your friends. That's fun. Ben and Gavin take pictures off the window. Will we play outside in first grade, asks Ben. <clears throat> Sorry, I have my window open. You might hear the cars driving by. <laughs> will we play outside in first grade, asks Ben. Yes, you will play outside in first grade, says Miss Green. Fun new games like soccer and kickball. Ben looks at his friends. Will there be friends in first grade? There will be friends in first grade, says Miss Green. New friends and old friends too. So you'll still have all of your friends in first grade and you'll get to make new ones too because you guys will have lots of um, people from the other kindergarten classes in your class too. So that's very exciting. Last fall, Ben was worried about kindergarten. Now he knows kindergarten is super. Maybe first grade will be super too. Kids, we had a great year, said Miss Green. Now you are ready for first grade. But first, it is time for our kindergarten party. A party, says Ben. Ben loves parties. Will we have a party like this in first grade, he asks. Yes, you will have parties in first grade, says Miss Green. But this is a special party. It only happens in kindergarten. Ben is curious. What is so special about this party? This is your stepping up party, says Miss Green. You walk across the bridge to first grade. Ben walks across the rainbow bridge. His friends cheer. So these little signs say, goodbye kindergarten. And as he walks across, it says, welcome to first grade. Then the class sings a special song. Ben is happy. He learned a lot in kindergarten. Just like you guys, you guys learned a lot in kindergarten too. And you're going to learn even more in first grade. And now he knows he will learn even more in first grade. The end. So, just as you guys see in that story, first grade is so fun because you get to do a lot of the things that we got to do in kindergarten already that you guys became pretty good at. Like, you know, we practiced our writing, we practiced our math. We did a little bit of reading even. A lot of you are getting the hang of reading too. You get to play games. 
we get to do fun things in kindergarten too. And you get to do all of that in first grade too, plus so much more. So I hope you guys are getting super duper excited to be big first graders next year. I am so proud of everything you guys have done. All right, thank you for listening, you guys. I hope you enjoyed our last story together. I hope I see you guys maybe over the summer. Maybe I'll see you guys out and about. And I'm sure I'll see you um, around at school and um, here and there. All right, guys. Bye.